Hi everyone, in this video I will cover how Relays and their programming works with Vista residential panels such as the 15P, 20P, and 21IP. You will need an alpha keypad such as the 6160 or the Compass programming software to program your Relay. To start, let's take a look at the 4204 Relay. For Vista residential panels, 4204 Relay modules will start on address 12. If you are using a 4229, these start at address 7 since they are also a zone expander. Using the cut sheet, find the address you need on the top row of numbers. Then, using the column, set your dip switches based on the dip number from the far left column. Next, determine how you will need to wire the relay. When the relay is activated, it will change state, interrupting or completing one leg of your wire run. Normally open in common will generally be used for devices that need power applied based on an action. Normally closed in common will generally be used for devices that need power removed based on an action. The relays are dry contacts, which means they don't supply any voltage of their own. Now that we know how to address and wire a relay, we can begin programming. Once in panel programming, enter field 79. This is a menu mode and has a corresponding worksheet in the panel's programming guide. The first question will ask for the output number. The output number can be thought of as how many relays do I have? Enabling your first relay, choose output number 01 for the second, 02, and so on. You have 16 outputs available, which equals a total of four 4204s. Press star to move forward. Next, enter your output type. For relay modules, the output type is 1. Press star. You will then need to enter the 4204's address based on the dip settings. Press star. Lastly, enter the relay position 1 through 4. Press star to save this relay's configuration. After you have enabled all outputs needed, enter 00 star when asked to enter an output number. The panel now knows that it has a relay or relays connected, but it doesn't know how they will be activated. For this programming, enter field 80. This is a menu mode and has a corresponding worksheet in the panel's programming guide. The first question will ask for the output function number. This is simply a line of programming for a single relay. Multiple output functions can be programmed for the same relay if needed. For your first output function, enter in 01, then press star. The summary screen will show if there is already something programmed here. If everything is listed as zero on the bottom row, then this output function is clear for use. Press star to move forward. Next, choose how the relay will be activated. By a zone list, zone type, or zone number. If the relay needs to activate by a specific zone or zones, choose zone list or zone number. If the relay will activate on a panel action such as chime, alarm, disarm, trouble, and other items in this list, choose zone type. Press star. Based on the previous choice, you will now choose which zone list, zone number, or zone type will activate the relay. Press star. Next, choose your output action. The most common uses are close for two seconds and stay closed. Keep in mind that if your relay is wired normally closed in common, these actions will still change state of the relay and switch from the normally closed state to an open state. Also, for a state closed action, you will need to program another output function to change the relay state back with an action of off. Press star. Lastly, enter your output number. This references the output number from field 79. If programmed in order, output number 1 will reference relay address 12, relay position number 1. Before we finish this video, I want to cover using a relay for smoke reset. This is a common use for relays when you need to drop power to a 4-wire smoke detector so it can reset after an alarm. Let's take a look at the wiring for a smoke reset. You will have two terminals on the smoke detector that go to a zone on the panel, and the other two terminals are for power. Connect the negative from your smoke to the negative of your power source. Next, connect the positive of your smoke to the common terminal of the relay. Lastly, 
connect the positive of your power source to the normally closed terminal of your relay. The circuit will be complete and your smoke will have power. To program the relay for smoke reset, enable your relay in field 79, then go to field 80. Choose your output function number, then press star. Verify that the output function number is available by the summary screen, then press star to move forward. For the activated by prompt, choose 2 for zone type, then press star. Now enter zone type 54 on the next prompt. Press star. Select the partition your smoke detector is on, then press star. For the last prompt, enter the output number referencing your programming in field 79. This would be the same relay that your smoke detector is wired to. That's all there is to programming a smoke detector reset. When your fire zones are in alarm, entering your code and off twice will cause the relay to open, momentarily breaking power, and then restoring power to your smoke detector. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.